What's up, YouTube? Jay Travelini here. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, kind of dressed up for the occasion. But today, in this video, my friend was kind enough to let me use his RTX 3070 to test it on my bench here. Right now, it has my 3060 Ti on it, which eventually will be making its way into this gaming PC that I use, an editing PC. And I'm going to take the 2070 out and replace it with the 3060 Ti until I can get my hands on a 3080 but since I have this I really like this card uh, it's been great for mining I think I got 62 mega hash a second pretty stable on it uh, using Phoenix miner you can check it out in my last video when I benchmarked it so I'm gonna get this out of the box and onto this rig and get this GPU off I'm gonna have to uninstall the driver and then put this on there I should use the same driver but I always do that just to be safe and even though a lot of times when you use NVIDIA graphics cards, you're using the same series like 1070s and 1080s or 2070s and 2080s. You usually pretty much use the same driver. But I'm gonna get this unboxed and onto this uh, test bench. And then we're gonna go into the computer and we're gonna start testing it on Phoenix Miner and trying to see what overclocks we can achieve stably and what hash rates we can get mining Ethereum. So let's go on into the computer. So I got the 3060 Ti off of it and I got the 3070 on there. It's booting up now, so I'll have to go on the computer and check it. But I mean, the card looks fantastic. Uh, my friend's definitely gonna be very happy with this GPU. So let's go into the computer and make sure the driver gets on. The fans are spinning, so it probably just installed them. Uh, and then we'll get into Phoenix Miner. We'll see what it does at stock and then we'll lower the power settings and lower the core and then up the memory and see what we can achieve and it's an overclock for ethereum so let's go ahead and go on into the computer so before i open up the miner i just wanted to pull up gpuz you get the rtx 3070 uh driver version yeah 40 457.51 same one as i was using on my uh 3060 ti so i'm leaving this all stock right now let's see what i'm doing at the wall i did i did plug my power meter in for this I'm idling at about 38 to 40 watts. So we'll see what Phoenix Miner will say. So we'll let that build the DAG uh, and see kind of what hash rates we're getting I'm, I'm expecting around 53 mega hash a second possibly there's 51 uh only because my 3060 ti at stock settings was at 52 mega hash a second so 51 wow so it's actually a little bit lower than my 3060 ti was 190 watts at the wall let's see we're at, in the software let's see what i'm doing at the wall So I'm at like 236, so pretty close to what I was doing. But sitting around, if I take away what I was doing, we'll say 40 and 140, so about 100 watts, 200 watts. Right. Yeah, sitting about 240, so we're sitting at about 200 watts. This is off by about 5 watts, according to my watt meter. Uh, so... First thing I think I'm going to do is turn the power down to 60 and see what happens. We'll see what watts it reports in the software and then I'm going to check the watt meter and I'll see what my watt meter is saying. So this is reporting 143 now. Uh, trying to let it take its, do its paces here. So at this point, it should be settled in. So I should be looking at, I'll check my watt meter real quick. So that's saying 184. So for 184, we're idling about 40, 144 watts. So this is actually pretty spot on now. Uh, according to what my PC was idling at at least, and then what this software is reporting. So still no shares accepted which is normal usually 
Let's hope I don't have too many issues. I have had issues with my 3060 Ti with rejected and stale shares. Uh, Phoenix Miner was a lot better though, but I did have to uninstall and reinstall my driver once because of it. I don't know what happened, but I'll try turning my core down. And I'm going to put that at negative 150 where I had my 3060 Ti at. And now I'm just going to let this go for a little bit before we start messing with the memory. So finally got an accepted share. That's what I was waiting for. It took about four minutes. Uh, not uncommon from what I've seen before when I first start the miner. Uh, there have been times where, you know, I get them within a minute, depending on, the I guess, the GPU. So let's bump the, I'm going to put it at 800. We'll see what we start pushing. Uh, I haven't really looked too much at what other miners have done with this card. I really looked at 3060 Ti's and 3080's. Um, I know Red Panda was testing a 3070 in one of his videos, but I, I didn't really get a chance to watch it yet. Uh, maybe while I'm tweaking this, I'll check it out and see what settings he was using. But with plus 800, I'm already at 58 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and we'll see what this does. Uh, Right now, let's check the wall wires. I'm at 143, it shouldn't have changed. I'm sitting at about 184, so yeah, it hasn't changed at the wall. So 184 watts total system power, uh, 143, 144 from the GPU, sounds about right. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. So plus 800, looks like we're pretty steady at 58 mega hash a second. I'm gonna put it at 1100 now. Uh, and I'm gonna drop this to negative 200. And we'll see what hatch rates we can level out at with that. Uh, I did look at some other ones while this was running. And it looks like some people were settling at negative 200 plus 1300 on the memory. Uh, and actually down to 52% power limit where I'm at 60. So we'll see what we can achieve. Uh, but they were claiming 62 mega hash a second, which is what I was getting on my 3060 Ti. So... We'll see. Let me check the wall wattage. Make sure it hasn't changed. That's holding at like 82 to 84, 182 to 184 watts total system power. So this is still pretty, pretty accurate as to where it's at. So we'll leave this running. And then if this can run stable for a little while, I'll bump this up to 1300. If that runs stable, I'll probably leave it at that. Uh, and maybe drop this down to 55%. Maybe we'll see. Uh, I'm more interested to see what mega hash I can get out of this card uh, and compare it to my 3060 Ti. Now it's been mining a little bit. I got one more share, it's still 60. Let's bump this up to 1300. Uh, I know that's where some people kind of left theirs at. See what hash rates I get. Uh, hopefully get a couple more shares. We'll let it run for a little bit and see what we can achieve. So. Right now, I'm at negative 200 plus 1300. 61.926, 62. So we'll, we'll leave this wrong. I got 62.2 mega hash. Leave it running for a little bit. Wattage hasn't changed at the wall or in the software, which makes sense because I didn't touch the power limit. So we'll see what we can achieve with this and see where it leaves us. It's been running for a little over 10 minutes now. Uh, still holding at 62 mega hash a second. So I will go ahead and drop this power limit. I'm gonna go to 55 power limit and see where we hold there. See if I can get a little more efficiency out of it because my 3060 Ti was more efficient at 62 mega hash a second. Uh, it was also getting shares quicker. I don't know if it's just, I was just lucky to draw at the time or what I also noticed 56C on the card. Now I know my tough 3060 Ti has three fans and this has two uh could be the huge difference in, in it but i know i was running a lot cooler with my 3060 ti and that's the tough one uh now if i had the same 3060 ti as i do 3070 i might be having this the heater uh, not heat issue but it might be running hotter than what i was so at 55 power I think it's ran enough that I can see the power limit. It looks like the mega hash is holding at 62. And I'm starting to find shares a little bit quicker now. Uh, so let's check the wall. At the wall, I'm about 173. So the software is pretty accurate with where I'm at from the card. Um, 
I'm going to pretty much end it there and say that 62 mega hash a second is what I can achieve. I really don't have much left on the slider here, but 62.2 mega hash a second, uh, not too bad out of a GPU. Uh, in my opinion, though, I would much rather buy a few more of the Asus Tough ones of the 3060 Ti. One, a little bit cheaper, and two, uh, let's see if I can pull up MSRP on here. Uh, so RTX 370 Asus. Uh, this one's just the dual. What I want is actual MSRP. So let's try just micro center because I'll get an actual. I'll get an actual like MSRP out of it. It won't just be like crazy inflated scalper prices uh video cards we're looking at just the 3070s uh, i can't check that rtx 3070 asus so this is the one that i bought 529.99 okay so 529.99 now let's look at i'm gonna open up another tab uh rtx 3060 ti asus and i have the tough version here so this one's actually 100 hours cheaper so i paid 159.99 plus tax so you're looking at what what did I say the other one was? 529.99. So if you're looking at gaming, I would go with obviously the 3070. But mining, you're looking at a so I paid four nine ninety nine. Seventy dollar difference. So seventy dollars cheaper for this. So if you're buying like, you know, six graphics cards, not that you can get that anywhere. But if you're buying, let's say, six GPUs and you're saving $70, that's $420 in savings. That's almost at a point where if you wanted to build an eight card rig and you went with 3060 Ti's, if you, you would pretty much almost get a, a free graphic card. If you want to look at it that way, I mean, that's a little far-fetched to look at it in perspective of that. But your total rig cost would be cheaper. Um, and then your return on investment will be cheaper and everything. So as far as mining at this point, I think I would go with a 3060 Ti over a 3070. Uh, and that's just only testing this one. Other ones, you may be able to, you know, get a little bit more mega hash. So if I were to get, you know, this one, which I'm probably not even going to get my hands on, but I might look to see if anyone else tests this one. Maybe they got slightly better overclock, better efficiency, uh, cooler running temperatures. But, you know, I mean, still not too bad. Uh, but I'm going to end it there. You know, thanks for checking this video out. I'm interested to see what other people have gotten with their 3070s. Uh, you know, Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Oh, also make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that bell icon. Make sure you get notifications on all the new videos. You know, stay tuned for more.